Hi, hello, my lovely Orinidu. Today we're going to talk about how to choose the right book to study when you're studying English. Let's get to it. When you're trying to choose a textbook for learning English as a second language, it's kind of overwhelming when you go to the bookstore, right? There are so many choices to choose from, and each and every textbook or English book has its own kind of own genre, if I should say. And it's really difficult for a person who is just starting to learn English to choose and differentiate between all of them. Here are some things to consider when choosing your textbook for learning English. The first thing to consider is the level of the book. If you know your English proficiency level, then it's easy for you to decide once you go through the book. You know, just skimming through the book, you'll probably know if it's appropriate for you to take that book home and start studying it. If you don't know, then it's better to figure out what level you're at first before deciding on a book. And if you're really not sure, please don't purchase your book online. You should really go to the bookstore and go through the pages, at least skim through the first 10 pages of the book, and then decide if you're gonna buy it or not. And if it's cheaper online, then you can take a look at it and order it online. The second thing to consider is the content of the book. If it has stuff that you're interested in and the things that you need, for example, vocabulary words, phrases, and topics that you really are interested in or that you really need, then you want to go with that book. However, if the book doesn't have the things you need and you just kind of go through it like as if, I don't know if I can learn anything out of this book kind of deal, then you need to pick another one. If you want to improve your vocabulary, choose a book that has a lot of vocabulary words in it, especially very useful vocabulary words. If you're into business English and you need to use English at work, then go for a book that is geared more towards business English and conversations at work. The third thing you really should know and try and consider before purchasing your book is format. Now, when I say format, I don't mean like how the textbook is laid out and the design of the book. No, not that. How you want to learn and what things you want to use to use that book or to absorb and understand that book is really important. So for example, if it has a lot of things you need to read within the book, like you really have to read through all the text and learn by absorbing and understanding that text, and you're really used to that, then that's a good book to choose. However, if you're the type of person that needs to use audio and other media platforms like videos with the book, consider a book that has QR codes with different videos and lectures that come along with it. It all depends on what is best for you. If you have trouble and get distracted with videos and stuff, then the book with a lot of text might work out better for you. The last thing to consider is to read the reviews. Okay, I know a lot of authors buy out reviews and you know, they have those things where you kind of like buying Instagram followers, they buy out reviews. But if the book was recommended to you by a friend or somebody you know, then you know this book is really worth purchasing. If you read through the reviews, there are really good, genuine, sincere reviews for a lot of the textbooks that are out there. Make sure to read through it and see how it worked for other people and see if you can consider the options that they took. And a lot of people around the world write really long, genuine reviews about textbooks. You know, people are really serious when it comes to learning something. Going through these four things is really going to help you choose a textbook that is geared more towards your goal and learning English. If you're going to purchase a textbook to study English, it better be worth it. I'll see you next week. Bye. I should really get back to studying too. The emotional brain.